Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are talking about the river training structure. First, we'll talk about the theory portion of the river training of works, and then after we'll solve one numerical problem related to river training works. So let's start. What is river training? River training is the structures and the techniques that are implemented to control and manage the flow of rivers to prevent erosion, mitigate floods, and improve water distribution for irrigation purpose. Its aim is to stabilize the river channel, enhance negiviability, and ensure efficient water uses. The classification of river training works can be based on the purpose as erosion control, flood control, sediment management, and water regulation. And on the base of the structures can be rebatements, embankments, grounds, dams and barrages, training walls, channelization, dikes. Similarly, based on location, river training works can be any stream works and bank protection works. As well as based on the design, it can be a hard engineering measures and soft engineering measures. The detailed notes of the description of all these classified river training works is mentioned in our description section of this video. You can have a look on them. Further, we'll talk about the methods of river training works. On the method of river training works, there can be a marginal embankments or leaps, grinds or supers, and the next one is guide banks. Today, we'll discuss about the design steps of the guide banks. In the design steps, first, we'll design the design waterway using laces parameter equals 4.75 root over Q. Then after, we'll determine the top level using top level of the bank equals high flood level before construction plus afflux plus b squared by 2g plus fv where the afflux equals rise in water level at the upstream of structures and the free board can be taken as 1.2 to 1.5 meter in the third we will calculate the length of the guide bank as per the gates the upstream and downstream length can be calculated based on the discharge where the discharge is less than 2000 meter cube per second the upstream length is 1.25 times of length if the discharge is between 2000 to 4000 the upstream length vary from 1.25 times of l to 1.5 times of l and if the discharge is greater than 4000 meter cube per second then at the time the upstream length is 1.5 times of l whereas at every time uh, the downstream length is 0.25 times of L. It doesn't depend on the discharge quantity. So in the next, we'll calculate the radius of the heads where upstream head equals 0.45 times of L, downstream head equals uh, 0.225 times of L, where L equals length. In the fifth, the cross section of the bound can be as the top width should not be less than 4 meter and the side slope shall not be steeper than 2 is to 1 slope. In the sixth, there will be calculation of the slope protection or the slope protection shall be done where slope protection shall be protected by stone pitching. The thickness of pitching can be determined using the T equals 0 0.06 times of Q root over 1 by 3. And in the final step, in the seventh, we'll calculate the launching apron by using formula r equals r equals q by f times of 1 by 3 times of 0 0.47 where f equals silt factor and q equals discharge similarly the scar depth is to be calculated as using the formula depth d equals xr minus water depth above the bed level where x equals 2.25 for nose of guide bank and 1.5 x equals 1.5 per transition from nose to a straight portion and 1.25 for straight reaches of guide banks and the value of r and the value of this r is placed using the this formula so after all this the plan and profile of the river training structure can be formed as like this this is the plan where the water flow occur from this direction and this is the length 
and this one is the length depends upon Q uh, this is R and this one is the cross section of the river training structures so let's move on to the question given question is design and sketch bells bond to train a river and its bridge site having the following data maximum discharge equals 5 sorry 55 100 meter cube per second river bed level equals 100 meter high floor level equals 105 meter average diameter of bed material equals 0.15 mm so let's start solving this yeah the given discharge q is 5500 meter cube per second diameter of riverbed material equals 0.15 mm so using cell factor 1.76 root over dmm equals 1.76 root over 5 equals 0.682 this is the sealed factor now we'll calculate the depth of flow that is y equals mm, 105 this is high flood level and river bed level is 100 meter equals 5 meter which is high flood depth now in the next step we'll calculate the waterway using Lacy's formula waterway p equals 4.75 root over q equals 4.75 the value of q is given as 5500 on solving this this there is 352.269 meter so increasing the length by 20 percent on this equals 1.2 times of this value equals 422.723 meter this can be nearly about 423 meter so now we'll find out the length of bell spawn Where we have the formula for upstream uh, bell spawn equals 1.25 times of L, that is 1.25 times of this value. L means this 423 equals 528.75 meter, and downstream uh, bell spawn equals 1.25 of L equals sorry. four two three equals one zero five point seven five meter now we'll substitute this value this value and this value in our plan of the bells bound that is 423 this is the width of the river training so that is from here to here it's 423 and the upstream length is calculated as 428.75 sorry 528 528.75 meter and the downstream is calculated as 105.75 this is 105.75 meter after this we'll calculate the up, uh, sorry radius of corvette that is the upstream radius equals 0.45 L and the downstream equals 0.225 of L that is 0 0.75 of 423 equals 
190.35 meter and downstream is 0 0.3 equals 95.175 meter so placing this on figure the upstream radius head is 190.35 and the up downstream curve head is 95.175 meter in the next step we'll calculate the thickness of pitching using formula t equals where the value of q is 5500 equals 1.059 meter this is the pitching section where its thickness is calculated as 1.059 meter now in the next step we'll calculate uh, length and width of the launching apron that is we have already calculated the sealed factor f equals 0 0.682 and the r can be calculated 0 0.47 times of q by f of 1 by 3 equals 0 0.47 times of 5500 is divided by 0 0.682 1 by 3 equals 9.425 meter so at nose of guide bank d equals 2.25 r times of y equals 2.25 times of The y is already calculated as 5 in our first step. So solving this it's 16.206 meter. And the length by width ratio. Equals 1.5 of d equals 1.5 the value of d is times of 16.206 equals 24.306 meter and at the core portion that is d equals 1.5 And in the next step, at sunk of the guide bank, that is d equals 1.25 r times of y equals 1.25425 minus 5 equals 6.781 meter. And that is length by width of Apron equals 1.5 times of D equals 1.5 D is 6.781 equals 10.172 meter and in the final the thickness of launching
apron will be calculated at at inner edge it will be 1.5 times of t equals 1.5 and t is calculated as 1.059 this is the calculated value in our previous step equals 1.589 meter and the, at the outer is outer is equals 2.25 t equals 2.25 times of 1.05 9 equals thin at thin meter so this can be taken as 1.6 and this can be taken as 2.4 meter so uh, at the inner is uh, thickness of launching apron can be taken as 1.6 and at the outer is it can be taken as 2.4 so consider fb equals 1 meter and the top width top width equals 5 meter and side slope equals 2 is to 1 then the figure form will be this is really top width that is 5 meter uh, and this one is the side slope of 2 is to 1 this is also the side slope of 2 is to 1 this is also the side slope of 2 is to 1 this is up to the level this is the base level of given in is 100 meter and this is the level as 105 meter and this is the high floor level sorry this is 106 and the high floor level is given as 105 meter as recently we have calculated the value of thickness of launching apron at the inner raises 1.6 and outer raises 1 point sorry 2.4 this is the outer is it's 1.6 meter and at the inner is on this side this thickness will be 2.4 meter which shows the complete uh, figure on other given question so for Today we end up the video up to this much. We'll come again with one new video. Till then, keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.